Greetings and salutations! Welcome back to this last play of Europa Universalis IV as the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Uh, so let's see here. I have some merchant ships here, but I can't really use them. Don't have the extra merchant to do anything with. I do not need to spy on you. It's not going to be worth anything. Probably not going to be worth keeping the electors happy either, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then there's the matter of whom to eat. I do have a fair number of claims on Muscovy at this point. I'll probably have to take advantage of that. First though, I think... Uh, we're going to go do a reconquest war there. Not going to bring any of our allies, we don't need them. We just want to get that core back. I'm going to help him. He has had that rebellion forever, so... This is really just a relief effort. Right? Yeah. Okay, uh... Who's the siege dude? Your siege. You are sieging, you're not, so you can move up. Dun, 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 dun. We're gonna need these forces, not in Europe. That part of Europe, you're gonna move over here. And make the Russians nervous. Right, I should probably have threatened war before I declared this, but uh, I assume that there won't be there won't be much of an issue. Um, I can't move down here, can I? No, I can't. But I really doubt that they'll uh, offer much resistance. Do I have a claim on Tabarstan? I do indeed. So we're just gonna fabricate here, I believe. As soon as we're at peace, we're going to try to threaten Bukhara and threaten Tabarzal for provinces. And then we're going to... because then that should not cost us diplomatic points. That's the main concern now. Save as many diplomatic points as at all possible. And hopefully get these guys to surrender. Before... that annexation goes through. Yeah, the problem is I can't go down to... Say hi. Or can I? Okay, in that case, move it, move it, move it. And one of you has access to the Turks, so... One of my enemies. That's good. This is costing such... so much money. The unbalanced research. Ugh. Yeah. Costing a small fortune. Uh, I'm gonna do that. Just to lessen the... Lessen the impact. I suspect this war will last for at least two years, so that's okay. Yeah, I'm trying to find my way all the way down to Jerusalem, because then we can get... Uh, the bonus missionary and stuff. And stuff. And we, uh, we uh, found their army, <laughs> apparently. Uh. Okay, so I'm going to keep this war going until 77 no matter what, so that's fine. And their army went poof. So this is kind of interesting that Hormuz has actually taken so much land, except the one province <laughs> that they need to cross into the rest of the area. Ah, well. Apparently we encountered the, the troops marching up. Mm. Yeah, I don't like this. But we'd have to switch and rival France if we're going to get more. <sighs> more of that.
We don't need the prestige. We don't really need... Uh, yeah, yeah, legit legitimacy could be nice, but we're getting 2.4 a year now, so... Five years and that'll be fixed. Um, getting ever closer, 47. But we're gonna need to get more dip prep. It's gonna take a while. We're gonna get it, but... Don't think we're gonna get it until around 1700, and then we'll just have to see if we can oust the Empire and sort things out from there. Meanwhile, the new world, such as, this, such as it is, is being settled in. Isn't much of it. Of course, the steps are gonna be very empty. Uh, I, may, I should have probably taken expansion at some point, but I couldn't afford to have so many other ideas I needed. Uh, oh, it would serve us well. It would indeed have served us well to populate all of that stuff, but... I suppose we could take that next. That's our seventh idea group, but that's not until 26. Uh, it's gonna take a while. Admin efficiency in Diplo, yeah. Oh, I should probably check. When do, do my claims expire? That's kind of important to know. Um, the claim here expires... 84, and I think that's the first one. Uh, claim here. Let's see, Saratov. Come on, let me see. Yeah, those claims are gonna last a while. 84 and Orda. Okay, so 84. I'm definitely gonna start the war before 84. Uh. Oh, I give up. I'm gonna read that coast forever, aren't they? Okay, we're gonna do... Hunt pirates in the Dr Ragusa node. And... Hunt pirates in the... Constantinople node. Just to see if we can protect them. Yeah, Tunisia is going to be one heck of a problem <laughs> until Spain decides to kill them. And France declares war on Kitzluk. Oh, there was, they still existed. Okay. Not for long, though. That's going to be the end of them. <laughs> All my friends are coming here, too. <laughs> kind of cool. So... Hmm. I could subjugate Karakunlu at this point, in this war. Force them to return one province up here and then subjugate them. But then I'd pay another diplomatic relations upkeep. So, not really something I want. Oh, is there a fort here? Yeah, I the capital fort there. And this war can go on until... Yeah, there's no real rush, really. I need this war to go on until I have the... Until the war taxes expire. That's my May 77. Yeah. Emissions. Become paper controller. Not gonna happen. Conquered Zendro. Zen. Zendro. Hungry. Not really where I want to conquer. I suppose I could, but... Uh, I don't know. Enable races versus the Turk. <laughs> Fleet larger than the Turk, 60%. Uh, but the f Turk is building up ships quickly right now. Uh, and I kind of don't want to build ships. Ah. Okay, do the MP Imperial Roulette. We're just going to keep improving relations over there. Keep going along the line. 
going down the line. Still got core. Okay, you take peace, I know you would, but... I can't really accept that now. I need, need the money. I, need, I desperately need the money. And merchants slandered. Yeah, that, that, that's also why I do not want rival frauds. I do not want rivals targeting me like that and just ruining everything all the time. How much more do I need to fabricate another claim? Forty-five points. Yeah. So we're gonna declare a conquest war and take all our claim provinces. And there should be quite a few of them. I'm gonna see how many more I can generate before we start a war. With Bukhara, I'm gonna just... yeah. As soon as they're at peace, I'm gonna threaten war on those two. If they succumb, that's great. If they don't... I'll just have to fabricate more claims. But my main goal is to munch Muscovy. <sighs> Though it is interesting to see if I can... pursue... Uh, Hungary as well. I mean, we have no bad boy in Europe at all. No aggressive expansion of any of them that matters. Uh, culture, culturally, mm, what are we shopping for? I suppose we could use some more Swedes. I don't know if there are enough Swedes left to give get me above five percent. There might be. I'll consider that. Okay, the core, good. That can core the other two. Finished with Alsace. That means it's gonna go with the next one. Ansbach. I'm so irritated that Ansbach prefers. <laughs> Ansbach prefers Silesia. Ugh. And the Puke dynasty continues. The button and the Pukes. That's the end of that new world power, I think. No, concede defeat. Okay. Let's see. Your allies. Hamburg, Nuremberg, Great Britain. Not countries that matter much. You're still losing imperial authority, which is kind of good for us. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna buy that. Okay, so Swedes. We do have a fair number of cores up here already. Yeah, I think I'm gonna start for, instead of Hungary, I think I'm gonna go for Sweden instead. But first things first, this war first. I should hopefully make Hormuz pay. This war lasts a few more months. Hormuz is at medium. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get Hormuz down because I we we can't really reach there. Oh, they don't have a fort there. Hmm. That is their capital. Okay. Well then. Uh, split that, go there. Uh, Inflation. Winston, just keep topping them up. Third medium. Oh, he's at two now. Good. I want him at low so he'll give me money. I need your money. Because paying rooting out corruption is really expensive. My goodness, 26 ducats, 27 ducats. 
And most of that is just, we're paying a fortune just because of the Alma Matters research, and that's never ever gonna improve. Not until all three of my subjects are integrated. Until then, we're just gonna lose a ton of points. You're gonna be there in 26th. Okay. We're both locked, so... Gonna walk around each other, I guess. No. Never mind that. Let's go back. And get that diplomat back. I'm pretty certain that they'll now be willing to make a peace. And we're getting close to the point where I want to make peace. Yeah, Hormuz is willing to make peace. Dear little Hormuz. Uh, I don't really want anything from you other than your money. Won't transfer trade power. Now. But you will give me your cash. So you're gonna do that. And though there are two months left of. Oh! Yeah, that's bad. That's really bad. Okay, go up there, we need to secure. Uh, that too. What? But now I'm protecting tra- What happened to your raid if I'm protecting? Okay, am I not understanding this right? I thought if I hunted pirates, they could not raid the coasts. But they still did. So what am I missing here? I don't know. I'm obviously missing something, but... Demands of the Circassian. Okay... So now they're starting to become uppity because we don't have a parliament. Alright, so that's the disadvantage of not becoming a constitutional monarchy. Let's see, national arrest, discipline, autonomy change. And under a government constitutional than we are, you have legitimacy. Same autonomy, you have separatism instead. I like the national unrest reduction though. So I don't want to switch and... So either uh, Cambelia... Where are we? Can't believe that's somewhere over here. Isn't it? Gabardia! Okay, that's there. Um, get to that, so that's fine. Alania is there. Yeah, we'll think about it. Unfortunately, it's. Oh, there we go. Ooh, the Sobieskian army reforms. When Jan Sobieski became king in 1674, he was already a renowned and glorious military leader. In fact, he started out as a general and ended up as a king. His reform of the Polish army thus started long before he became king, but it was under his royal leadership that the strong effect effects of the reforms made a lasting impression on history. The new Polish army saved Vienna from the onslaught of the Ottomans, and forever stopped their advance. Unfortunately, in the long run, it helped Austria, Austria more than it helped Poland make a strict army reform only. Um, okay, just, am I supposed to have a choice here? Doesn't look like this much of a choice, but I'll take the points and stability and everything. Oh, yeah, 
good. Do we want to boost? Mm, yeah, do that and then make reform. To get the most out of it. And that also gives us up to there. And I want that. Woohoo! Full quality. That means we have access to new policies. Um, army morale speed. Not really interesting. Uh, prestige. Prestige decay. Extra diplomats. Not really interesting. That one is. But uh, we can't afford it. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah. You've already taken control of that. So... A new to march home, at the very least. Don't raise war taxes anymore, we're just gonna end this war. We just need to reclaim the province. Because they succumb to rebels again, and England decide to fight Scotland and start to regain their territory. Just get troops up here. There we go. March. Go straight for the rebels. Kill the rebels. Kill the rebels. <sighs> yeah, we need to maintain this somehow. I'm not sure how the heck we're gonna do that. We pretty much have to rival France and destroy them. Which is easier said than done, really. Or is it? 40,000. Um. Oh my! Oh my! Yeah, the French army is actually quite weak. Maybe they... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it is time to end stuff with... Uh, Of course, the tribes managed to get that capital before I... Ah, boo. No matter, if I get this, they should be willing to surrender it. And then we can threaten some wars. And then we can smash Muscovy. I should hopefully manage to get at least one more claim before we start that war. And while we're doing that, we're gonna need to make other applications. Um, Oh, that, oh, I need to switch over control. Right. Occupy. What? Occupy by Commonwealth, please. No. Not rebels. So, I'm gonna give that over to Georgia so it doesn't cost points. Um, I'm gonna make you revoke your course on them at the very least. I'm gonna make you pay war reps and cash. You'll die pretty soon, but that's okay. I could have could have asked last year, but nah. Not worth it. Okay, so that's Georgia. Get our diplomats back and we'll sort the rest of this stuff out. I'm just a bit fearful of doing big wars, because I basically want the wars to be uh, diplomatic point free. They become constitutional monarchies. Yeah, France is the only one I can rival. Which I would, but... The, the one thing that keeps me from doing that is the royal marriage. Because that would just be sustained. I don't think they'd break the royal marriage. And I suppose I could still use them for at least one war more. One more war. Before I, yeah, destroy them along with Spain. Threat war. For the, yes. And give me that. I'm getting a bit of aggressive expansion, that's okay. So do that.
I just want the land, so. And Georgia, time for you to be annexed as well. And yes, I know this is gonna cost us extra dipper points, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Next up, Bukhara. I'm gonna threaten war with you too, I suspect you'll... Okay, you have two provinces. Bashkiri. Okay. Uh, Tambo is the one I want, and you'll surrender it. Good. Thank you. Uh, next, I think we'll send a spy up here. Yeah, basically what I'm doing now, I'm trying to add a, get as much land as I can that will be addable to the Empire. So that I'm ready for that whole spiel. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, uh, okay. Portugal, huh? Because it, it won't be able to become emperor until I've secured this whole situation. So yeah, let's see now. First one to be annexed will probably be Armenia. That's in 79. Roughly. 80. And Venice will be soon after that. And then Georgia. Yeah. And of course, I'm gonna. No, actually, it's not gonna be that quick because we're losing a ton of points. 11 points a turn now. And after all of that is done, after all those three are annexed, then I'm gonna push up. And spend everything going up the influence, influence three, three, and we're going to be fall even further behind on diplomatic technology. We will be able to catch up again, but it's going to take until like six, seventeen, twenty-five, or something like that. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. And the expansion would probably be the next idea, since we suddenly have a plethora of. Admin points. And I'm now just waiting for uh, 45 uh, up here. And then I can probably start. Let's see, how's our bad boy? Europe doesn't care at all, so yeah. Tambo, I forgot to increase your local stuff. Uh, General died. Oh, sad. How many do we have now? Two out of four. Yeah, grab one more. And you was what? Oh, boo, we found my spy. Why? Why? Ugh. Yeah, the Turk is rebuilding their fleet, so no point in trying to do that one. Creating a proper fleet would be interesting, but again, we're just is one tech shy of upgraded ships, so I'll, I'd rather save my money. And our navy just isn't up to snuff anyway. And we don't really need it because trade protecting trade here is pretty much all we can do at the moment. A skilled diplomat. Um. So that's 10 years of plus one relations, which equates into 120 diplomatic points, basically. Or we gain 50 diplomatic power directly. Um, because as soon as... Let's see now, as soon as Armenia is eaten, we're gonna lose out on the... Yeah, we're gonna do with that. I think that's the better plan. I think that's the better plan. We'll find out. I think that's gonna give us more than 50 points in total. Depending on how the integrations work out. Uh, spy network, 1678. Ugh. I was so close, and you. yeah. Had to ruin everything.
Do I dare send an emissary to the Pope? <laughs> ah, let's do it. Send emissary. And France is still busy trying to kill new world natives. We're gonna invest a little bit. Just two at least, so we have a small chance of winning the papal lottery. Other than that, we're just gonna keep converting. The cheapest ones first. Uh, build spy network. How far behind are we? 22. And it's gonna take how much? Uh, one every month. So that's gonna take. Oof. And the one in Sweden got expelled. No? Okay, let's see here. 22 and 1 at 1, 12 every month, so it'll take 12 points a year, so it'll take several years before we have another two years before we have enough. Uh, uh, what's a war exhaustion? Checking that first. Oh, it's zero. In that case, nah, we're just gonna take all our claims right now. And everything else we can do. Brandenburg fights Liebeck. Liebeck, who is fairly defenseless. Yeah, Brandenburg needs a good smacking. Not that I can afford it. Uh, for to do so. So, Mr. Principality. I want provinces, and I definitely want Susdal. Yeah. Orgol takes you still. Yeah, let's go. Schmack. And just march in the rest. There, there. And go to Saratov. Like so. And Scotland got eaten, to be expected, I suppose. Uh, do we want to spend our military points for a bit of cash gain? I think I do actually. I want to try to keep us afloat because this holds. No, that's there. So long, uh, with there. So long onto your army. Yeah, I want to keep um, the war taxes raised because I need to offset the extreme cost of the unbalanced research, which will only get worse. So, yeah. There's that, and we're now spying on Sweden. We're probably also going to spy on Hungary. And I'll take this Snedro mission. And see how many claims I can get on it, both of them while I fight this war. So I'm gonna let this war go on till the end of 70... Uh, end of seven, uh, about 1680 becomes. Yeah, that's when the war tax is gonna, are gonna expire. And that's gonna be good. Okay, I think I'm going to take a short break here though, so uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll continue to do so.